talking to him and I said that you... It's a great you. pleasure to have the opportunity to speak about uh, Don Smith and to endorse the choice by the Burlington Community Foundation of Don for this prestigious honour and recognition. Uh, I was thinking about what makes Don special and unique and I really think that he's one of the most authentic people that I have ever met. I think, you know, where you, where you earn your living, where you have your friendships, where you live, and this has been, we're sitting in my, in my home, this is where I was born and raised, and obviously giving back is something that I think is, is absolutely critical. Uh, before we ever started the Halton Learning Foundation, Don was actively involved already helping students in the Burlington community. He uh, has um, given a scholarship to all of our Burlington schools for many, many years to help students and made it possible for our students to participate in co-op programs um, at his business, uh, Smith Funeral Homes. Since we've started the Halton Learning Foundation, um, Don has been uh, actively involved with us in supporting student needs, specifically around our Barriers to Learning program. Uh, that program provides support for students who have basic needs that prevent them from being successful at school. And Don recognizes how important that is for student success in school, and so he has helped us with uh, an annual donation and supporting our annual event. Don, uh, in addition to his support of our uh, Peace Medal event each year, Don has been there to help us build buildings, renovate buildings like uh, the Ron Edwards Y here in Burlington. Don has, has also been instrumental in making sure that families that can't afford to get to these centers and participate in programs uh, can get there. Don uh, has made very generous gifts to a, an annual campaign that we have to support the, the access and uh, accessibility that we strive to achieve in the community. And I think Don is an, uh, a wonderful role model for philanthropy in Burlington. Um, he doesn't do it for this kind of recognition. Don does it because he, it's coming from his heart. December 3rd, 1967, um, uh, uh, a young guy that I know very well, yours truly, wrapped his car around a, a pole, went through the windshield right near the hospital. And if it hadn't have been for Joseph Brand Hospital, I wouldn't be talking to you today. Um, they pieced me back together. He loves to tell that story. Um, but Don has been a true leader and uh, philanthropist with this organization. Uh, from his leadership in the last capital campaign where he helped to lead a team to raise over seven million dollars to help uh, redevelop the hospital, um, to his uh, caregivers luncheon that he sponsors and provides the funds for. It's a whole other aspect of health care that he supports uh, through the hospital and annually gives uh, bursaries to caregivers for the work that they do, not just nurses but outside of that environment as well. So these are a couple of things that uh, Don does for the hospital. I've, I've done a lot um, of work with uh, the, the Schifra home and in advising them and, and working with them. They're a great organization that provide a significant option for unwed teenage mothers or expectant mothers. And they, do, they, they provide a lot of love and care and opportunities for them and they provide, I think, um, an important choice for young girls that may find themselves expectant. Don was very excited to find out what we were doing in the community. We're a very young uh, grassroots baby organization, literally and figuratively. And so he took the time and came to the home, had a tour, had his wife with him. And then he also referred us to other people in the fundraising world um, to be able to give me some resources to kind of build capacity for Shift for Home. Um, and it's just been ongoing since. So for me, Don has really given of his time very generously and his time is very limited with all the things he's up to. Um, but I'm just so thrilled that he has taken the time for someone like us, uh, somebody like me, to kind of pour into and to help build my skills so that I can be effective at Schiffer Home. He's just been a, he's a compassionate person, a compassionate Rotarian. And, um... He's helped so many people. Rotary's some um, service above self. Rotary is a, a great group of men and women that come together in fellowship and, and are, have a lot of fun with raising funds in the community 
which goes back into the community. They also have international projects, but a lot of the focus would be on helping people here um, in, in their own community. Great group of people do wonderful work. Everywhere he goes, all his travels, he finds something that needs work, and, and he, he, he's there for it. He says, I'm going to see if I can help these folks out. And he comes back to us and other people in the community and mm -hmm. talks about them and uh, gets the ball rolling. But it was, it was so interesting that my friend Ebby and I went overseas on what was going to be a quasi-adventure trip that we've taken, but also a bit of a humanitarian trip and a mission. And we got there, and we absolutely became hooked on, on Sierra Leone, the plight of the children. And I guess when you have an opportunity to actually go and see someone that's had a leg or an arm or a hand amputated, when you actually go and see a little child that's been abandoned on the street or in a dumpster, and the police bring to the orphanage, and you see this child that needs a shot or a chance at life, and the people are trying to give them that chance, and you see people who are young boys and girls and men and women, 16, 17, um, sitting around the side of the road saying all we want is a chance to work and get back some dignity. Or you go to a polio village and seeing them play soccer on their hands and knees, you know, something that we take for granted. And at the end of the game, they'll be bleeding, but they'll have a great big smile on their face. And all they wanted was a soccer ball to be able to play the game. He's got the soccer ball, so that he came back and he wanted a thousand soccer balls. Two thousand. 2,000 soccer balls. Give them a minute and there'll be 5,000 <laughs> soccer balls. We, we got pretty hooked on Sierra Leone and it became really part of us. It's, it's in our system and, and we want to do something for them. We want to give them, as I said earlier, a shot at life. They over there have learned how to get along and, and they respect each other. They tolerate. There's forbearance. There's understanding. There's love. There's compassion. There's a lot of things that in the busyness of our lives, we have here too, but we've forgotten. Over there, life becomes very simple, and it's really not how much wealth you have. It's where your heart is and how your heart beats for other people. There is no more deserving person than Don Smith. Um, everyone in the community knows who he is, and he really does care. So I think that that comes through in everything that he does. And in fact, through his business as well. I think that the caring is right there out front, and uh, he's a very deserving person for this award. I, think I love my motorcycles, and, and that's a great, that's just a reminder of what I should be doing when I'm sitting here. <laughs>